Hey guys, OpenAI just released a new model, ChatGPT 4.0. This model is twice as fast as GPT-4 and it will be free for all users. So I thought why not test it out and automate some Excel tasks like merging multiple workbooks and creating interactive charts. To do that I will upload images and spreadsheets to ChatGPT. This was of course also possible with GPT-4, but you needed a plus subscription to use those kind of features. Additionally, OpenAI will introduce a desktop app that can use live camera and voice input to make coding even easier, as shown as one of their demos. However, I don't have access to that yet, so I cannot show it in this video. Once I do have access, I will of course make a separate video about it. Ok, enough talking, let's dive into some Excel fun using ChatGPT. Here in my data folder I have a couple of Excel files that contain the sales data for different cities. As a first step I want to consolidate all these Excel files with the help of ChatGPT. For that let me open one of those files. Now to explain the structure of the file to ChatGPT, let me just take a simple screenshot of the first couple of rows. Next I will copy this screenshot to my clipboard. And with that in place let me navigate to ChatGPT. In the upper corner I have already selected GPT 4.0. Now I just need to paste a screenshot and describe what I want to do. So I will write the following. I have a folder named data that contains various Excel files all following the structure shown in the attached image. I need to merge the data from these files into a single Excel workbook and save it outside the data folder. Once I press enter I will get my response. And for your info I did not speed up the video for the ChatGPT response so that you can see how fast the new model is. So here we get the code and below also some instructions on how to use the script. By the way, ChatGPT actually didn't need the image I provided. Since all the data is in the same format, it could just basically merge those files as written down here. However, we will come back to that point later in the video. Ok, and with that said, let me test this code by copying it to my clipboard and opening Visual Studio Code in my folder. Next I will create a Python file called Merge Data and paste the code in here. Alright, and when I now execute the Python code, we have a new Excel file in our folder. To quickly validate the result, let me open the workbook and place a filter on the data. If I now filter for the cities, we will see that all the cities are now contained in this file. Now a quick tip for you, which you might already know, but try to be as specific as possible with your prompt. For example, by default ChatGPT used the US module for the file operations. However, I actually prefer Pathlib for that. I could have said that in my initial prompt, but of course, I can always specify that later as well, like I did here. And just like that, I've got my updated code. And just to make sure it still works, let me copy it to my clipboard and replace my previous code. So now when I delete my previous file and run the code again, we will again have our merge data. And if I open this workbook, we can again see that all the cities are contained in this file. Ok, great. But so far that was pretty basic. You could have done that also easily with Power Query or the old GPT 3.5 Turbo model. So next up let us really make use of the new model and also the power of Python to create stunning visualizations. And one of my favorite plotting libraries is PyEcharts. If you take a look at the PyEcharts gallery you can find some really cool examples for different chart types. And for this demo I really like the calendar heat map. Here we have a calendar and below there's a range slider to show certain values in the heat map. To create this chart there's some sample code. This code of course has nothing to do with our excel data, but that is totally ok. I will just copy this code to my clipboard. Then back in ChatGPT, I will attach a workbook to my chat and write the following prompt. I have attached a merge data workbook from before. Please take a look at it. I want to visualize the sales data for each city for the year 2023 in a calendar heat map using PyEcharts. For each city I want to have a separate HTML file. On the PyEcharts demo page I found the following snippet. Ok, and after that I will just paste the code we just copied before. And this is now pretty cool. Here it seems that ChatGPT actually did not even load the workbook because usually it would run some Python code in a sandbox environment to check out the attached Excel file. But instead I assume it used the screenshot we provided earlier because it actually got the column names correct, like the date of sales and also the sales amount. So this looks already promising, but of course let us try it out by copying it to my clipboard. Back in VS Code I will now create a new Python file and paste the code here. Alright, and when I execute it 
we will see the new HTML files in my folder. So let's take a look at them. Okay, and here we have our interactive sales heat map with a range slider. But of course, like before, we also want to make sure that the data in this plot is correct. So therefore, let us have a look at the source file. Once again, I will put a filter on the data, then I will filter for the 1st of January 2023 and put the workbook and the chart next to each other. And as you can see, the amount is matching. Now the next Sunday was the 8th of January. So let me also filter our data for that date. And here we actually have two entries. The sum of both sales is 496 USD, which is also matching to our calendar heat map. All right, now that we know that everything is working, let us bring all the code together so that in the end, I will just have one file to merge and visualize my Excel data. For that, let me copy our first script again to my clipboard, and then I will ask ChatGPT how I can combine our scripts. So first the part of merging the Excel files, and then I will also copy and paste the code from the chart generation. And just like that, we will now have our final code. And of course, also let's make sure that this is working by creating yet another Python file and pasting the code in here. And before I run it, I will also delete my previous files. If I now execute the code again, we can see that it still works. I have again my calendar heat map and the figures are still correct. Now, and from here, you can also tweak it further. This is also what I normally do. For instance, I will tell ChatGPT that it should chain the pandas methods. In just a second, you will see what I mean by this. So I will wait for ChatGPT to generate the output. And once done, I will copy the code and replace it with my current one. And if I scroll up a bit, you will see that we have now all the pandas transformations in a more concise code. This is now more like Power Query, where we have for each transformation a separate step, or in our case, the different pandas methods one after each other. All right, and you could of course take it even further here, like attaching each chart to an email and sending it to your colleagues or manager. Lastly, please note that OpenAI will slowly roll out GPT 4.0. Therefore, it might be possible that you do not have access yet. With that said, I hope you found some inspiration in this video. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.